Shifting focus to Chad. At least nine people have been killed and around 46 injured in an explosion at a military ammunition depot in the capital of N'Djamena. Now, authorities fear that the death toll could further rise. The incident took place on Tuesday night when a fire set off multiple explosions at the military ammunition depot. Videos from the site show the massive destruction. The explosions lit up the sky and thick smoke engulfed the area. The impact shook buildings miles away from the site, shattering windows and punching holes in walls and roofs. Several residents in the vicinity were jolted during their sleep, and many are still in shock. At one point, we thought it was over for us. We don't know what happened. There were large caliber weapons everywhere on the house. All the windows are broken. The glass is shattered. Are things like that? We asked the government to help us. There was a lot of material damage and bodily injuries as well. The explosions took place at a weapons depot in the Guji area of the capital. This is the country's main arsenal depot. It is located near the military headquarters, along with two French army bases, as well as the capital's international airport. Now, there are various residential houses in the neighborhood, and Chad's president, Mohammad Idris Debi, visited the explosion site. He said those injured will receive state care. He added that the situation is now under control. However, the lessons must be learned. As he pointed out, that such military storage sites should not be built in the heart of the city and that they should be located on the outskirts. I want to tell my compatriots that the situation is under control and to remain calm. The injured will be taken care of by the state. After that, we will take action. What happened yesterday should teach us a lesson about building armories in the middle of the city. This isn't the first time that ammunition shops have exploded. This should teach us lessons so that we can build new armories, not in the middle of the city, but outside the city and to international standards. Authorities have not clarified that those dead include soldiers or civilians. An investigation into the cause is underway, though authorities have described it as an accident. The explosion occurred after the president presided over a meeting of top military and security officials in the capital this week. During the meet, he noted that Chad's security is threatened by armed gangs. The security situation has remained tense in the Central African nation after this year's controversial presidential election when Debbie was sworn in as president. Now, Debbie, who took charge after three years of military rule, promised to restore order by deploying military in volatile areas. The country also has a presence of French troops who are fighting armed insurgents. None of the French troops have been injured in the depot explosion, as per the reports. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison Lagrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections to climate change to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.